Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, it's a little late in the season, but my brother's coming to visit and he wants his blueberry jam. So today, I'm making blueberry blackcurrant jam. First things first, I'm gonna put nine cups of blueberries. Thank you, Serenity Wolf. Into this pot. I'm going to use a heavy bottom sauce to top, and we're going to put in eight cups of berries, sorry, and six cups of sugar. And we're just going to let them sit here and do their thing, and I have to pick through my black currants and clean them, so we'll be back when I've done that. Okay, here's all the black currants. There's about three cups here that I got from my garden this year. And I've rinsed them off. There's still some stuff in there, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna put them through a food mill. Now I've just barely covered them with water and we're gonna simmer them till the fruit is soft. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, is my berries have simmered and look at this, well, look at this beautiful red juice. And I'm just gonna put them through the food mill. Whoops, I splashed. I'm just gonna let it drain. I'm gonna give it a stir, get some of the stuff out. There we go. The pigs get the pulp. Here is our berries and our sugar and they're thawing because they're frozen. But what I'm gonna do now is this stuff is loaded with pectin and because Black currant berries are a little bit more bitter than blueberries. It actually gives a nicer depth to blueberry jam. So we're just going to use the juice. I'm going to pour it through the filter one more time to get most of the pulp out. And then we're going to cook that down. Okay, now the berries and the sugar and the black currant juice have made a nice slurry here. So now I'm gonna turn it on high and I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of butter in there to stop it from foaming as it boils. And this is a heavy bottom saucepan, folks, but you still have to keep stirring as it heats up. We're gonna bring this just like we did with our strawberry jam. We're gonna bring it to a rolling boil and we're gonna continue to stir and allow it to boil hard for three to five minutes. It's at a simmer and here comes the boil. Now the rolling boil, I'm gonna have to turn it down just a little bit, is the boil that you can't stir down. And as you see, I'm stirring, but it's, you don't stop stirring people. Okay, so there's the timer. We've gone off our rolling boil, and I'm just gonna turn this off and continue to stir till it cools down enough that it's not boiling, and then we'll, we will bottle. Okay, our jam has gone off the boil. And now I'm looking for my funnel. There it is. I like this funnel. Somebody sent me this funnel and I really like it because even though it, it covers the whole rim of the jar, but it tells you where your half inch, quarter inch, and three quarter inch is. So, I'm going to fill this jar to a quarter inch from the top. Why a quarter inch? Because it's liquid and because it's only gonna go in a boil bath canner for about 15 minutes. Somebody asked me why my time for boil bath canning jam was different than other people's. Well, that's because <clears throat> I never used to even boil bath can them. I just made sure my jars were hot, my lids were hot, my jam was hot and they sealed well. So, here we go. Always, always wipe your rim with a clean, damp paper towel. Apply a fresh lid. My lids are in a bowl here of hot tap water. They've been washed, rinsed, and they're just sitting there hot. Screw down your jar to fingertip tight, and into the canner it goes. There's the one pint that's going in the fridge. And here is two pints and two half pints. And there in just a water bath canner. All I use is a stock pot with a wire rack in the bottom. Now you may not be able to see it, but the water is above the jars by a minimum of one inch. I'm gonna put a lid on it 
and I'm going to water bath process this for 15 minutes. And there we go. Three pints of blueberry black currant jam and two half pints. So technically this, this recipe makes four pints of blueberry black currant jam. This is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying blueberry black currant jam. I like it even better than just straight blueberry. Take care, God bless.